I'm on home leave, meaning that I get to go out of the hospital for a few days, like a holiday, before it's raining. Before, before, what was I saying? Okay, I, I get to get out of the hospital for a few days, um, then I have to come back for my doctor to review. So it's like a holiday, so they call it home leave. And if you get out um, only for the day, it, it's called day leave, and at night you need to go back to the hospital. So, yay, yeah, yeah, I'm out. And this is the hospital building. Uh, there's no emergency uh, room for this one. So basically, um, all the pa all the patients that come in come from another hospital. It's so noisy. Oh, so I will talk to you guys more about my experience in there. Do you like my new bed sheets? I like it. That's pretty. Anyway, my mom changed it when I was in the hospital. So far, I have been inside for how many days? I'm still pretty much in dreamy state. I still can't get hold of time and track time properly, and time just passed by. So it's like I went in on Monday, and today it's Thursday. So it's 10 days. Yeah, I've been in there for 10 days, but time just passed really, really fast. Um, anyway, so I'm going to tell you what happened on that day when I had my doctor appointment. I went there, she knew, my doctor knew that I'm in a pretty bad state because I'm supposed to go in on the Chinese New Year, which uh, I have a video on it, you can check it out. It's called like Meltdown on, on first day of Chinese New Year, something like that. Um, so, uh, and then... I dragged it out to Thailand, which uh, was kind of manageable, luckily. Uh, so then I went on further to, oh yeah, so then that week my doctor well, has a meeting, so she cancelled the appointment. And then I finally got to meet her last week. By that time I was in a very, very bad state. I just couldn't concentrate at all, I couldn't really verbalize much. Um, I was still communicating with my counselor and all that, but they all want me to go inpatient because it w I was like in a very much out of control state. Although you don't really see on the video, she gave me two choices. The first one is that I stay out because uh, if I can cope fine with all the hallucination and all the psychosis and the dissociation, and I can still function well, uh, sh she wouldn't force me inpatient. She's not gonna force me inpatient at all uh, because she doesn't want to sanction me under the law to get a judge to put me in patient for 21 days so uh, the second choice was uh, that I go in voluntarily yeah the first one comes with another condition is that she will not write any more letter to the school for reduction of cost load like the number of units that I study in one semester or uh, for any accommodation because of my condition to the school or anywhere um, so pretty much it wasn't a choice that not her not writing it means I'm not able to go on and study because I am probably gonna extend another year with the original plan which means I will need her to write another letter so obviously it's not a choice Although it looks like a choice. Um, the second choice is basically uh, not going patient and just give up my study. So I went in and I still have that strong delusion of my brain being cut up. Um, and then I cried there. And she said, I'll see you the next day. And right there at the outpatient clinic, they have the ambulance to take me to another hospital. Because the outpatient clinic is in a hospital that does not have a psychiatric ward. So I have to go into another hospital which have a male and female psychiatric ward. I'm living in a very small country, so we don't have any specialized uh, ward for like for eating issues like ED wards, 
um, because some of you asked that uh, we don't have it it's just a general psychiatric ward everybody goes in there for whatever mental problem that they have so uh, I went in there um, basically before I went there I was just lying on the floor half lying on the floor because there was so far but I, I it was a waiting room I need to wait for the ambulance to come and I was half lying on the floor and when they came I didn't want to go up um, so uh, the nurse suggested get a wheelchair and they brought in a bed and you know reluctantly I got into the bed and then I was like very much in a dreamy and zoned out state I would just stare and everything would just go past me and I don't know what's happening and all that so um, I don't get things in very much details um, so I mean I arrive at the hospital this one today it was pretty rough uh, because I wanted to throw things to hurt other people to heat things and stuff so a lot of the time I was being held like my the nurse or the staff would hold my hand hold my wrist to make sure to like that I was standing beside them uh, and not crossing over to a line which they separate the patient and the staff the nurse so there was this line there and I always wanted to cross the line or I always want to use my hand to pick up something and throw so they were holding my hand uh, at the line because they need to stand at the line to make sure that no other patient would go there um, and at that point of time the ward was in a mess there were people uh, crying and like people uh, some of them were talking loudly some of them were like acting strangely I mean it's not something that is new to me I mean I have been to the ward for like what this is the 28th time I was restrained on the first five days and another one alternate on the seventh day because at night I would just climb on the bed and you know get this pull the curtain or like I don't know I would I don't really remember what I was doing but I was restrained and you know um I either take a PRN I mean I would have PRN med uh which is Edivan or it would be an injection of Edivan so that's how time passed and then it was only the last one two days that I could function a little bit better and I could respond a lot better um, but I was just really zoned out like a zombie so the last two days it was a little bit better and I could pick up a book and read the book um, I'm almost through the book so I guess I'll probably do a book review on it um, it's a pretty interesting book uh, so it was is good that I could start reading and today we have a meeting with my counselor and she reluctantly let me go home for three three days and a half so I will go today it's uh, now is Thursday uh, 11 plus so I mean I came out at 3 4 p.m. so then I will be going back in on Monday 10 a.m. so I'll see if I will make more of videos um, if not uh, I will keep you guys updated um, if you want to know what happened you can follow me on Instagram or snapchat yeah, the information would be in the, the information down below so you will know what happened because it's easier to post over there during those times so anyway Thank you for watching and I hope that you subscribe, you like my video, give it a thumbs up. So see you guys and bye!